20 creative ways to defeat the warden. He is by far the strongest mob Minecraft has ever seen. And he's coming in the next update. But even the warden can be killed. Number 1. The Cannon of Death. This clever contraption can one-shot anything in its way, including the mighty warden. Arrows in Minecraft actually have a secret mechanic, where they deal more damage the faster they travel. With lots of TNT, you can create hypersonic arrows that delete anything in front of them. I've sorted all the methods from worst to best. So while the Cannon of Death is certainly fun, it is very impractical. That's why it only gets 1 out of 10. The Warden can beat pretty much every mob in the game, but there are a few exceptions. One of them is the Shulker. If the conditions are right, one Shulker can easily defeat him. That's because Shulkers give the levitation effect. But it's not that simple. There needs to be a roof of some sort, otherwise the Warden keeps going up until it's out of range. The other such mob is the Stray, thanks to the slowness arrow. Although even with slowness, the Warden can catch up. But if you give the Stray a potion of swiftness, it will win the duel. A weakness of the Warden is that he can only hit one target at a time. So if you get enough mobs to fight him, he will be defeated. You can tame as many wolves as you want. That makes it a perfect fit for the job. Same goes for bees. A couple hundred of them should do. Once you find an ancient city, that's the place where the Warden resides. Build a massive bee farm nearby. Since this method takes a lot of preparation, I rate it 1.9. Number 4. The Warden can sense your movement and if he gets close enough, he becomes enraged. In this stage, he moves super quickly, but we can use this to our advantage, leading him into a trap. Just make sure he doesn't hit you, since he will one-shot you even if you're wearing full netherite with protection 4. Anyways, the trap can be as ridiculous as you want. For example, a cage with lightning rods. Although you might need multiple storms to kill the Warden, because he has 250 hearts, more than the Ender Dragon. If you don't want to wait for a storm, don't worry, there is a better way. You will need a pickaxe, some wool and a fishing rod. Wool allows you to mine without making vibrations and summoning the warden. Create a 2x2 tunnel around 30 blocks deep. Now you want to summon him and quickly run to the top. That's when you'll whip out your fishing rod and start fishing. This method is certainly risky and it takes quite a bit of work, so 2.9 out of 10. The Warden is an undead mob. This means he can't drown, is immune to poison and potions of healing damage him. The instant health 2 potion will take 6 hearts, so you'll need at least 42 of them. Once you craft the bottles, brew an awkward potion by adding a nether ward. Then get yourself a glistering melon, that will give you instant health 1. To produce a stronger potion, add glowstone dust. Just make sure to aim for his head, otherwise you'll need way more than 42 bottles. Number 7. Standing on a sapling is more dangerous than it seems. Once it grows into a tree, you might start suffocating. I've tried with the warden and trust me, it's near impossible. But I discovered this. If you use a spruce sapling, you can get him stuck. The warden can't hit you because of the leaves. Oak saplings should also work, but I think spruce is the best since the leaves are closer to the ground. I give it a solid 3.8 out of 10. It's not bad, but there are way better tricks later in the video. One of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft is the pufferfish. It deals a lot of damage and poisons you for 5 seconds. But this makes it perfect for our next trap. Despite seeming large, the warden's hitbox is quite small, so he will fit into a 1x1 one one hole. Then dig another hole, that's where you'll place your pufferfish. Putting them on every side will cause him to die faster. Now all you have to do is bait the warden into the little hole and watch him suffer. An iron golem will get absolutely demolished in a 1v1 fight. It has 50 hearts, which is 5 times less than the warden. On easy difficulty, it takes 7 warden hits and on hard, just 3. That's why potions are again essential. You're gonna need strength, speed and region for the golems. You can also brew some weakness potions for the warden. A gang of iron golems is for sure one of the fastest ways to deal with this beast. That's why this method deserves at least 4.5. Five. Number 10. You're gonna build an obsidian cage. The size is up to you, but don't forget that the warden is 3 blocks tall. Then head to the nether and kill a couple of ghasts. Make sure to collect the ghast tears. We're gonna need them to craft end crystals. It only takes 7 end crystals to do the job. You can also use TNT, but it deals less damage, plus end crystals are just cooler. So why isn't this method higher up the list? Well, it is still pretty expensive and there are ways of killing the warden that will blow you away. 
The first ranged weapon in Minecraft was the bow. So can we use this legendary item to defeat the warden? Turns out you can. However, this strategy is only for good players. Get yourself a bow with power 5, infinity, unbreaking 3, flame and most importantly punch 2. Now that you have a punch bow, the warden can't catch up. You can walk back and shoot until he's dead. It is a bit harder to do underground, but you can always turn and start sprinting. To completely annihilate the warden, summon 100 withers and let them do the job. Let's be honest, no one has time for that. And 100 withers is probably a slight overkill. On paper, the warden is way stronger, but actually a single wither can beat him. He doesn't have the ability to fly, and even if he could, he can't damage the wither for some reason. There is a big issue with this method though. You're literally summoning another boss. 5.9 out of 10. Number 13. Mambo Jumbo fans will love this. Create a narrow path where you will lead the warden. Then build a classic 2x2 piston door with a hole underneath. All you need is 4 pistons, redstone and a button. Down below you can place lava, dripstone or anything you like really. Just make sure it deals damage. You can even use this trap on your friends. Or even better, trap the warden and your friend at the same time. I wonder who's gonna survive. Mine out a large area, go to the desert, get a few stacks of sand and a lot of cacti. Yep, we're building a cactus maze. Here you can let your creativity shine. You can build it as complicated as you want or if you prefer being effective, create a small maze. It's probably good if you can remember the layout because the warden gives you darkness. That's a completely new effect similar to blindness which makes it nearly impossible to see where the warden is. But I found a solution. Press F3 plus B. That turns on hitboxes, so even with darkness you will know exactly where the warden is as you confuse him with your maze. Don't tell Mojang or they might fix this. Sand is pretty useful for killing things, as it can be used to suffocate the warden. Or use gravel if you don't like sand. The key is to get him into a hole. You can use pistons again, or just place two trapdoors facing each other and watch how stupid the warden is. This trick works on almost any mob in Minecraft, because trapdoor seems like a full block, so the mob thinks it can walk over it without any issues. And that's when it falls into your hole. Once you capture him, place sand on top and watch him slowly suffocate. This isn't a fast way, but it definitely is the most satisfying. I give it a respectable 7.5. Number 16. The previous method was slow, but this one is for sure the slowest. In 1.17, Mojang added powdered snow into the game and with it came freezing, a completely new way of dying. Some mobs, like polar bears, are immune to freezing, but the warden isn't. Not only does he take damage, it also slows him down significantly. So get yourself a nice pair of leather boots, cover the floor of the ancient city with powdered snow and watch the warden freeze as he desperately tries to chase you. Powdered snow used to be hard to obtain, but now it spawns naturally in snowy biomes, so when you find it, make sure to grab plenty of it. Maybe you don't care about torturing the warden and you just want to kill it fast. Well, one of the fastest ways to do so is with entity cramming. Put a bunch of boats or minecarts on top of each other and anything that touches them will die nearly instantly. Watch what it does to me! Of course with the warden it's a bit of a different story, because he has so much health it won't be instant, but it will still be pretty fast. You need at least 24 entities in a single place. Unfortunately the damage doesn't increase the more entities you have, so don't bother crafting hundreds of minecarts. I rate it 8.6 out of 10. It's very effective. Now we're talking about the most practical ways of killing the warden. These don't require any redstone, any expensive resources or complex mechanics. They are simple and easy to do, like using magma blocks. If you wanna have some fun, cover the ancient city with magma blocks and the warden will have nowhere to go. You can avoid taking damage by wearing boots with the frost walker enchantment, which doesn't really make sense, but hey, this is Minecraft. Strangely enough, this can be done even underwater and that would actually be ideal as the warden somehow doesn't work underwater. So I guess you could even flood the area and cause the fight to be ultra easy. But good luck getting rid of the water afterwards. 
Number 19. All you need to kill the warden is one bucket of lava. He might be the strongest mob in the game, but certainly not the smartest. Lava deals a lot of damage, is easy to get and it also slows him down, making this a great way to kill the warden. If you're afraid of burning yourself, drink a potion of fire resistance beforehand and you have nothing to worry about. It will take around half a minute to kill the warden and after that you're free to explore the new ancient cities, loot all the chests and mine every new block that you come across. I think this is going to be the biggest structure in Minecraft and with just a bucket of lava you can become the king of this city. Since this is my favorite method I give it a 9.4 out of 10. What strategy could possibly deserve the 10 out of 10 rating? Well it's actually a group of methods that don't require anything apart from a few blocks. Let me give you some examples. Building up two blocks and fisting the warden to death. Digging into a wall so he can't reach you. Building a two block high roof digging underneath him you get the point even standing in the middle of rails does the job because mobs don't know how to pathfind over them all of these methods are equally easy you simply have to understand how the warden behaves and there is no reason to fear this new mob but the absolute best decision is to avoid him altogether he doesn't drop anything